Hello friends and welcome back. We're here with another spooky game. This one is called Cursed Baby. We are going to be playing as a maintenance repairman in an old apartment building that may or may not be haunted by a baby. I don't know. I'm just throwing out some wild guesses here, so let's jump into it. There's a baby. That baby does look a little cursed. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. He's got no eyeballs. That's kind of spooky. And there's blood everywhere in his crib, on the floor of his crib. Might be a little cursed. Just saying. All right. Date, July 25th, 2024. Welcome to the team. Your first task is to repair several things around the building. Head to the basement to collect your tools, then start on the first floor. Good luck, maintenance manager. Okay. All right, let's go get our tools. That's in the basement. Let's freaking go. So empty in here. The heck? Grab tools. Gosh, I got so many tools. I got a screwdriver. I got one of those, one of those cement things. Isn't that a cement thing where you like scoop it and you go like that? I just seen some TikToks, I'm just passing through, you know. Uh, we got is that a vacuum? Nice. A blowtorch. Heck yeah! I'm gonna set this place on fire. We got a hammer. Okay, that's all we got. Um, a repair generator in room four. Three, four. Yeah. It's like I knew I was supposed to be here. Do people live in here? Why is this so empty? Where's the stove? Why is this the kitchen and there's just one fridge? They better not be paying that much for this apartment. Oh, the stove is over here. Imagine you come into somebody's house and you just see a fridge in their living room, like a tall fridge, and you're like, oh, that's a little strange. Maybe they, maybe there are other fridges in their kitchen. And then you start walking through, and then you just see their, like, stove just randomly right here. No little fan above it or anything. It's just one stove, no sink. Wild. Date, January 12th, 1985. We finally moved into our new home today. Lucas loves his new room, and I feel hopeful for the first time in a long while. It's been tough, but I believe things will get better here. Evelyn. Sorry, I forgot how to read at the very end there. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's burning. Okay. Wrong tool. This needs a hammer. I'm just going to whack it. Oh, I'm just whacking it to be fixed. Don't worry guys, I'm a professional. Nice, the room's green now because I fixed it. What's on the top of that? Okay, whatever. Uh, repair pipe in room one, clean dust in room one. Dang, room one has problems. Okay, I almost... I almost just used my hammer to open the door. Right. This place is kind of dirty. Is that water? Is that bleach? I don't know if I trust this place. Probably murdered somebody. Date, February 5th, 1985. John has been acting strangely since we moved in he keeps talking about bad energy in the apartment and wants to cleanse it lucas has been unusually fussy since we arrived e evelyn wait so evelyn lives in room four and one why does she live so in so many rooms is this the dust i'm gonna vacuum that up i'm gonna vacuum that dust up I didn't know it was like a maintenance man's job to vacuum dust. Date March 14th, 1985. John brought home some strange books today. He said they're for protecting us, but the ritual and symbols are unsettling. Lucas cries more than usual. 
Looks like John may or may not have joined a cult. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing that out there. Let me just open that. Nice bathroom. There's a lot going on in here. I'd be so annoyed if I just had this giant pipe in my bathroom and no sink or no mirror or no where to put like my toilet paper or anything like that. There's no shower in here either. That's very important. All right, pipe is fixed. Okay. Repair wall in room eight, clean dirt in room seven. Oh! <gasps> Guys, I think that's the cursed baby. I got a blowtorch, I'm not afraid to use it, child. I will sizzle you away. Sizzle you straight back to hell. Maybe I should like throw some ice on him or something, like chill him out a little bit. It's an idea. I don't see you coming up with any ideas. Hello! Bro, I will literally burn you, okay? I'm done with your crap, okay? This is disgusting. Clean up your blood. If you're gonna kill somebody, clean it up. I am not going to do it. Okay. I found John in Lucas's room last night, chanting something over his crib. Lucas was terrified and screamed like never before. I'm so scared for us, Evelyn. Bro, grab that baby, get the freak out. Done. You take it, you take the baby, you go boop, and then you go and that's the is you running away. You gotta run. Get out of there, Evelyn. John, lost cause. I'm sorry, I know you probably loved him, but he's gone now. Oh no, there's a hole in the wall. What is this, Silent Hill 4? The heck? Oh, I thought it was gonna let me crawl in it. Brings me back to the good days. What do you think we repair this with? This? Yeah. I'm just patting it. All better. No portal to Silent Hill here. Okay, room seven. <gasps> That's none of my business. Whatever they're into, whatever freaky shit they're into, that is none of my business. Why am I cleaning dirt in room seven? There's literally a ritual going on. Okay. I'm just, what, gonna dust around it? Don't mind me over here. I'm just dusting the dirt around your ritual circle. All good things, all good things. I didn't see anything, honestly. Don't mind me. I'm just doing my job. Just working hard or hardly working. Oh no. Whatever was in the ritual circle is gone. I can't vacuum it up. Okay, what does this one say? I can't take it anymore. John is obsessed with rituals, believing Lucas is cursed. I feel completely powerless to protect my baby. Evelyn, call a priest. Okay, just throwing that idea out there too. It's kind of scaring me with these doors open. Okay. So I need to go to room nine. 11 and 12. Nine, I gotta repair TV, ah. I got the blowtorch out, kid. Don't mess with me. How am I supposed to, oh God. Oh God, am I really just? It's fine. Uh, screwdriver, that fixes TVs. Oh, this is my favorite show. Dang, it's on repeat. <gasps> Baby, I swear. I'm done with this. I will get you. I will flame you up along with this apartment. He got scared. Did you see him run away? He knew. He knew I was serious. 
You knew I wasn't playing. Even though technically I am playing because I'm playing a video game. Shh. Okay. What does this one say? It happened. John's rituals went too far and now Lucas is gone. I can still hear my baby's cries echoing in the apartment. Dang. My question is, is how did John get into this hobby? You know? What made him decide to get into cult things? How does anyone decide that? You just wake up one day and you're like, ah, I think I'll be a part of a cult. I think that sounds cool. All right. A lot of boxes. Somebody moving in? Lucas barely plays with his toys anymore. The wooden train just sits there. It breaks my heart to see him like this. I thought Lucas disappeared. Did I ring read them out of order? There's no toilet in this bathroom. It's just a pipe. I'll just have to pee my pants. Okay. Repair machine in room 16. Lucas used to fly his wooden plane all over the apartment. Now it just sits there, untouched, as if waiting for him to come back. I pray this ritual works so he can find peace. I don't think he found peace. I think that may be... I mean, maybe he did. Maybe he's having fun haunting this apartment. Maybe he's gonna have fun killing me. So I feel like that's how this is gonna end. You want me to walk down there? For real? For real? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh gosh. Okay, Lucas. Look. I didn't want to do this. But I will set you on fire. Please stop. Please stop crawling towards me. Lucas, Lucas, think about your actions. Lucas. Lucas, please. Please, Lucas. Oh, he's just he's just having a bad day. It's fine. I'm so sorry, Lucas. I'm sorry you're having a bad day. I'm just trying to do my job though, you know? At the end of the day, you're having a bad day. I'm just trying to do my job. Oh gosh. Let's just let's just run through this really quick. Let's just do do do. Just keep moving forward. Just keep running. Just keep going. Up oh, thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I have to stop for the thumbnails every now and then. But we gotta keep moving. Yeah, I just... Hello? Okay. I was like, it's dark. I can't see anything. I want my mom. Find the flashlight. Oh, man, why wasn't that part of my maintenance kit? I got a flashlight. Oh. As soon as I get a flashlight, the lights come churn out. Freaking convenient. No? Oh boy, it's Lucas's toys. I tried to gather Lucas's toys, the train, the plane, the horse, but I couldn't collect them all in time. Maybe that's why he's still here, waiting to be set free. Alright, I'm gonna go find Lucas's toys. Lucas, just don't do anything crazy, okay? Don't kill me, alright? I'm gonna find your toys, I'm gonna get them. We're gonna have a good time. God, this place is like a maze. I'm scared. Got one. Right now I'm just running the perimeter. 
and eventually we'll have to probably go on the inside. Got two. <gasps> Lucas is over there. I'm out. Please don't eat me, baby. Ew, I hear him behind me. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Get out, get out, get out. Uh. I think it was, I think it was over here. Hell yeah. Cracked, cracked gamers. That's what we are. We only know how to be cracked. Okay. Got his toys. All good things. He's happy with us now. We're best friends. Close that door. Don't want that in my life anymore. Um, can I leave? Yeah, leave the building. That's my objective. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm out. There's boxes. How do I get out? There's no windows. There's no windows in these apartments. I just realized that. That's not good. That's not good, not good, not good. Thank you for what you've done. I couldn't collect all the loot, all of Lucas's toys in time, but you set things right. My baby can finally rest now, and so can I. Goodbye and thank you, Evelyn. Somehow I don't feel like that did what we wanted it to do. The music's still going. I'm still not out of the building. Which makes me feel like maybe we'll never leave this building. What if we're already dead? What if we're a ghost? Oh gosh, why is it so dark? Lucas! <gasps> Gross, Lucas. Oh gosh, okay. That was it. We didn't make it. We didn't make it to the end. I mean, we made it to the end, but we didn't leave the building. I knew that the toys wouldn't work. I freaking knew it. Well, friends, I was cursed, baby. Don't take up jobs in haunted apartments. That's my advice for you for today. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time with another a spooky game. Bye!